Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Dragons, Dawn of New Riders on Kwin's Let's Plays. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and special thanks to DreamWorks for providing the game and sponsoring this video. So, uh, we died quite a bit. Uh, this game's difficulty is not one to sneeze at, especially when in combat, so you're going to want to build up your hearts. Got you! My, my, my. I, I sneezed at it. Oh, I... You, you okay, said it's okay. not to sneeze at. I thought you were going to be like, hey, don't sneeze at the difficulty! No, I, I don't think I would do that. It was I was expecting a different response. Ah. Anyway, moving on. This game's difficulty is not one to sneeze at. Yeah. Uh, especially the number of hearts you have, so be careful. Just like in the Viking days when it was hard to live in the cold, hard northern regions, this game also was difficult with all the mazes and stuff. I mean, it's... Oh, here we go. It's tricky. What do we have here? Um, I don't suppose you're friends with Hiccup and Astrid, too? Uh, hardly. But I once had a dragon that looked like your hatchling. He was a different color and grew to a broad wing. How is it possible that there's another? Surely G couldn't have. Wait! You've seen a Chimera dragon before? <laughs> Chim ah, clever! Mm. But I don't have time for questions or riddles. But then there's still work to be done on my latest experiments. Chimeragon! That's what it was. That's a bad dude. Hey. Latest experiments? That's a, a her? After Whoops. her patch? Wow, it looked like a dude. My bad. Who's a her? Well, apparently, Amber, this whole uh, let's play is you. <laughs> That's a girl. What are you talking about? Ah, more of the dungeon. With Astrid doing something. Astrid, are you okay? Do you need any help? Okay, you're gonna end up being Scribbler. Nah, Stormfly, and I have got this. Are you two following that girl with the blue hair? Uh, she was a girl? <laughs> Did she come through here? I think she might be behind what's happening with the dragons around here. Uh -huh. Yeah, she went through those doors up there. Be careful, Scribbler. She could be dangerous. All right, you might eventually have to be Scribbler because you have to voice somebody and everyone apparently in this entire game is a girl. Make sure you stock up on the field medicines before you continue. All right, we, I... we can trade with you. Oh, hi. Hey, need anything? Well... Uh, we I don't think have Luke any of those. Needs a character voice. Trade. <laughs> trade. Trade. What are we trading? I don't. All that stuff we've been collecting, yo. Oh. Bye. Bye. Okay. There, I did. I did Astrid for you. No. Thank you. Just messing. Thank you so much. Are you welcome? I'm butchering this, but. Yep. Having fun doing it. <laughs> Haven home <gasps> boss. Fine. <laughs> look at the size of that dragon, Patch! <laughs> oh Doesn't God. look friendly either, but at least we know the roars have been coming from. Roars. Okay, I am a. That is a girl. She looks too tough to be a girl. Yeah. She's like scaring me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you Angry two voice. again! I can't have you interfering with my work any longer! Patch, look! On the top of its head, it's that orb, similar to the ones that the deadly natter that attacked us earlier. Uh. However, it looks far stronger, and I don't think my weapons could break it, even if we could reach it. We don't need... Uh, we need to find some other way to smash it. Your hammer. Enough talk! That hot burble is completely under my control! Attack the boy! I want the hatchling alive! I don't really sound like a little girl. No, she's not a little girl. Oh. Alright, let's go up these stairs so we're safe from, uh... Hey. Oh. I'm too tall to fit through that archway, but I think you could fit through a patch. Yeah, patch could probably But couldn't fit you through. just step over it? Maybe. <laughs> what was the point of that? Well, it, it blocks from the fire. Or maybe you just need to 
put them up for no reason at all. Uh, oh, I think that you need him to smash into those pillars to hurt his head. Like a Bane boss. Oh, Bane boss. You have to go up the other stairs over on the other side. No, I mean, I'm not trying to Come be... get some! There, see, over there you have to get the other pillar. No, I have to... I have to get him angry, so he runs at me. Okay. Yeah. Told you. Okay, you were right. Oops. And how am I supposed to break that? Aha! Oh, wow. Wait, where are you, lady? Oh, there you are. Oh, you have to hit her. She really doesn't look like a girl, though. She looks like she was getting her butt kicked. That's what she looked like. Oh, she's not done yet. Okay. Aha! Done! Was that um. just round two? Alright, now we'll get Patch because that thing destroyed the uh, pillar. Oh, that's why Patch is just sitting there. Yep. Patch, let's go. Patch, come on. Come, Patch. Come along, Patchy. <laughs> Oh, you shoot two fireballs now. Well, aren't you fancy? Let me guess. Uh, only patch can fit through here again. Okay. Mm, yep. Oh, sorry, sorry. You're you're right in the line of fire. Ah, well, it won't let me control me. No, patch, stay on the thing. Ah. Oh wow, that's that's terrifying. Hey, come get some. Eep. Okay, maybe maybe not. Come get some. Just gonna have my uh, shield out just in case. Oh! Oh, okay. I guess you have to hit her. No. I don't think you can hit that guy at all. I'm, not, I'm assuming the dragon is the guy. I guess okay, I should never assume. Never assume, Amber. All right. So the hammer is what's really strong against her. She's I'm just gonna call everyone "Hey you." That's probably the <laughs> easiest way to handle things. <laughs> you or it. They. Yo. Yo! Can never go wrong with yo. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's the proper greeting of the day and age well, now. Well, like, I don't know. When I work at the grocery store, sometimes if I'm not sure, I'm just like, Hey, you. Hello. Hello. How are you yeah. today? <laughs> I think we need to go back to the number system, referring people to, like, uh, digits instead of names. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it is an X, Y, yep. one, two, three, seven, there you, there zero. There you go. <laughs> I identify as, uh, alpha number person. Ow! Yeah. Hey! Come here! Come run into this, it'll be fun, you'll see stars. I miss doing my little- What?! Oh my gosh! I don't think you were quite behind the pillar. You, you think? You think? Yeah, I, I think so, but I, I could be wrong. I have to buy stuff from her again. Hey, you! No, you need no. anything? No, I'm good. Bye! I'm great. You know, we're gonna try the harder stuff first. Like, we're gonna go over to this side. I don't side. know why I want a crazy voice for this villain girl. I don't know. Go crazy. Recast her. Have fun with it. Okay. Right. Over this way, oh, ugly! She's actually not talking at this moment, but next time. Okay, you stay there. Alright, just try not to die here. Yeah, I'm gonna go, uh... There's no way to go behind it. Maybe you have to stand up there with Patch. So I don't confused. Think so. Maybe you just have to stand really close to it. Oh! There we go. There. That was hard. It's actually hard to line it up like that. It's kind of fun. Alright, so you're gonna stay here, Maybe... Patch. Oh, okay. Just get that ready for when the time comes. Alright, lady! I've had about enough of you! Alright, this lady is toast. This chick is toast. Yep. You know, she kind of looks like the villain from Ghostbusters. Yeah, she does. You're done. All right, so. And she got up somehow. Over here, ugly. Right this way. It's hard for me to believe that dragons existed that were that overweight back in the day, but I could be wrong. He likes food too much. He's a donut dragon. All right, this is going to be easier because he's just going to. This is a perfect place for me to hide. Yeah. And he's going to get angry and he's going to run. Run right at me. Yeah, you're done. See? Boom. Nicely done. And now, Patch, uh, we're going to go on the other side. 
Just, uh, we're gonna keep her busy. Man, Patch is slow. Well, baby dragon. That's alright, you can take a couple pot shots from her. You'll be fine. Walk it off. <laughs> yeah, walk it off. Um, scribbler. Are you trying to pull an Aquaman trident defense move there, lady? Oh, she's doing like an Aquaman thing. Bye! And... Fool me once. I healed. Oh, good job. Yeah. Thank ya. Thank ye! That's, good that's actually... Thank ye, thank ye. Alright. Uh... Shield! Shield up! Buckler up! Oh, it's angry! But look at this, I'm in perfect position. So as long as you start with that pedestal back there, you're in good shape, people. Here it comes! Yes! Ooh, that smarted. Ow! That's un oh, watch shocking. Out. She's feisty. She's feisty. What? I don't think that's how you, uh, work with- Hey! Dragon Lady, what are you doing? Is she part of Mission Impossible? Why is she like this? She knows Tom Cruise. <laughs> well, I mean, she's got a modern haircut there, so I mean, you know, yeah. the Vikings didn't have hair like that. Yeah, I actually thought Tom Cruise came by my, um, my grocery store the other day. I demand that Tom Cruise gets colored hair. But then I realized that the person that came by was like 6'1", and... I know Tom Cruise is, like, really um, short, so there's, there's no way it could have been Tom Cruise. Um... We destroyed all the things, now what? Uh... It's gonna... it's gonna land on you. We did it, Patch! Smashing that <laughs> orb freed the hut... hut purple. Yep. I wonder how many other dragons she has out there. I need to update Hiccup. I'll send him a terror mail now. Terror mail? That sounds pretty terrifying. I've enclosed a sample of some solution that seems to be triggering violent tendencies in local wildlife. Wait, is this... Is this Hiccup now? I uh, don't know. This I'm doesn't... Pretty sure you know what? I'm gonna have fun with this. like a little kid <clears throat> with this. This is, this is what it sounds like, alright? <laughs> I've enclosed a sample of some solution that seems to be triggering violent tendencies in local wildlife. Any ideas what it is? I don't know if this helps, but my hatchling and I just survived an insane fight with a huge hot purple. Long story, but it feels like all of the adrenaline might have triggered some more of my memories. Another long story, chap. I can now recall a gaunt, pallid man arriving on my home island, Skirvin Rock. It was as if he appeared out of thin air with an elderly titan wing in tow. Seeing how he mistreated the old dragon made me so angry. It, fr I freed it, and we flew away together. It took us here to Haven home, almost like it was taking us back to its home island. I can see now that the pale man hired those trappers to follow us here and set fire to our home. But why? What is so special about the Titan Wing dragon? Where did it go? And where did my dragon's egg come from? Sorry for the random thoughts, but if I don't write them down, I might forget them all over again. <laughs> oh my god. Your friend, Scribbler. <laughs> it doesn't even say, like, the end. That is not the writing of a little kid. I know. <laughs> not bad for a bookworm and an ice hatchling, right, Patch? How did he write that? He's a child. <laughs> it's like a completely different person. <laughs> Patch? Patch, are you okay? What's happening to you? Wait, is it digivolving? Digimon Digital Monsters. Digivolve into ah! Ultimate Patch! Is that you? Are you okay? He looks weird now. He's still Digivolving! What? You can shoot lightning now? You're full of surprises! A major growth spurt and a new ability. Where did that come from? Do all dragons do that? Wait, your body wings are bigger. Do you think you can fly now? Want to give it a try? Give it a try. Roar. What if he fails? Uh, well, I guess we can give it. There's a worse things that could happen. His ears look weird now. A little patch. Ditchy bon. Oh, he can only fly for one second. Patch, you fail. Also, you're kind of sitting on him, so it doesn't really help. Oh wow! 
How did you fly on your first try? Yahoo! This is amazing! I remember reading about this, but to actually be up here flying on your back? It's just incredible! Hey, Scribbler! Whoa! Is that Patch? What happened? Wait! How do you know how to fly a dragon? Uh, not really. I just jumped onto Patch's back and he just got us to this point. Ha ha ha! Let me give you pointers. Ease up on your grip a little, try and relax, and time your heartbeats to match Patch's. Riding isn't about control, it's about communication and trust. What? Okay. Why don't you two go for a test flight, and when you're done, meet me and Toothless back at Havenholm Campground, and we'll figure out what's happened. Thank you. Now I have all the work. Hold ZR <laughs> to flap Patch's Fine. wings. Fine, I'll be Scribbler for a little bit if you want. Voice actor shift again. <laughs> it's like one of those cartoons. Like he's switching voice actors. Dragon! I don't want to land, I'm flying. What are you talking about, game? Oh, well, I mean, we probably won't talk to script. Or, I mean, hiccup too much. You're just trying to get out of doing the voice. I know what you're doing, Amber. <laughs> Look at all the different islands you can visit, too. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Woo! Pretty. All right, we're gonna fly through this. Oh, oh come boo, on. boo game. I. Why would they make that there if you couldn't fly through it? Yeah. That's the point. That's so cool. I wanted to fly through it. Landed campground. Yeah, we're mm. landing at the campground. Fly through weird circular like island thing. Awesome. Landed campground. Lame. Haven home. Haven home. Well, that was fun. Eek. Hi. Scribbler and Patch, I'd like you to meet Gobber. He's my mentor and like a second father to me. Uh, oh, no. Bye, if we ever go up the pleasantries <laughs> out of the way, maybe we could have built a repair in Hoomstead Elf. The Titan the dragons can return. I didn't catch a word you said, but... It's fine. Uh, Scribbler uh, was just filling me in on what's happened so far. <laughs> it's like we have a new enemy, one who can manipulate dragons. Uh, uh, we don't know much about her, not even her name, but she wasn't friendly. She had some sort of control over the hot purple. It has something to do with the green substance in these orbs. Uh... She also said that she once had a Broadwing who looked similar to Patch. Now, if that one ain't as fast as Patch does, then maybe it was the Titan Wing who flew me here, and maybe it left behind an egg, Patch's egg, and maybe it was... Stop yourself, Scribbler. Uh, that makes sense. If only we knew where that girl went after she fled the ruins. Well, we don't. Him, forgive me for speaking out of turn, Chief Ickup. The answer's staring you right in the square, squiddy face. Squiddy. That Titan wing up purple there, the bluish behind is more of a suit at Arctic weather. Uh, right, whatever you said, Gobber. <laughs> the only island with a limited range of hot purple would be Valka's Mountain, my mother's island. It isn't that hospitable oasis it once was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounds like fun! Just point the way and Patch and I will investigate! See what we can find out whilst, whilst you focus on restoring the Haven Holmist! Why is he talking so proper as a child? Okay, but be careful. We don't know what this girl is after or who she's working with. Make sure you stock up before taking off. We shall indeed! No, that's my specialty. Mm -hmm. I can approve your weapons, craft, aura, and elements for or I see you've been collecting some of your travels, so stop by my pop-up forge before you go. I actually heard what he said that time. Actually, I love your accent for that guy. <gasps> Tiny little oh, dragon! No. Salutations, Scribbler. It's nice to meet a fellow dragon enthusiast. I studied the sample you sent, and it's nasty stuff. Wait, is this Gobber? It's that uh, guy. It's that guy. Meat leg. I don't remember it's what he sounds like. It's that dude. 
Hey, it's nice to meet a fellow dragon enthusiast. I studied the sample you sent. It's nasty stuff. A combination of grimoire toxin and dragon vibe bulbs. Only some kinds of mad genius would mess with that combination on purpose. Unfortunately, I'm a little less informed on your other trapper-related questions, but I might be able to get answers from a certain someone, son of a someone, when he returns from his patrol. Wink, wink. <laughs> Nudge. <laughs> Whatever you do, keep writing and keep safe. Also, your letters sound like a grown man. Wow. I'm done. <laughs> hmm. So those arms are filled with grimoire toxin and dragon vine bulbs. Maybe they'd also know what caused your sudden and rapid growth patch. I'll go ask them. Oh, uh, wait, is yeah. this? Oh, oh my god. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hello. Hi, fish legs and meat lug and fish meat. Thanks for the analysis of the orb liquid and the words of caution. We have just had another development. Or should I say, my dragon has. Patch grew from a hatchling to a broad wing in a blink of an eye. I know Hiccup said no one's ever encountered a... Chimera dragon before, well, except for that angry girl in the dungeon. <laughs> anyway, do you know what pretails could be causing such a rapid growth in patch? And more importantly, is there a way to slow it down? I want my time with patch to last forever, and it feels like I might lose him just as fast as I found him. Yours truly, Scribbler. <laughs> Please, no more back and forth. <laughs> A scribbler patch, wait up! Here's a sky map! It should help you to find your way around up there. Make sure you take the time to check out some of the smaller islands. I'm sure they'll contain useful treasures to aid you on your journey. Oh boy. Oh, it's done! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> now Patch has evolved into a Broadwing. You oh. will be able to take off to the skies whenever you are outside. But you can't fly in the level, so... <laughs> well, maybe you can now! You can also now fast travel between checkpoints within a location once you have activated them. Press minus to open up the map, and then once on the map screen, press X to enter the fast travel mode! <laughs> maybe you can fly on the levels now. Alright, well, how do we make stuff? Oh, Patch is looking less cute and more like... Actually, he's still cute, but he's like a teenager, Patch. There's different uh... dragons here. Mm, yep. This is a forge. This is a kind of a gold village. Um, the only island with a limited range is my mom's mountain. Be careful. No. no yeah, your cares. mom is like kind of weird because she ran off and lived with dragons for like her whole life. She's yep. like a person that ran off, and it's like if a person ran off from their family and lived in the forest eating like grass. I don't know. Oh yay! That's weird. <laughs> hey, Lattie, what do you need? <laughs> Ooh. Kind of doing us a voice. Let's do an axe. And my axe. I want to upgrade my axe. Wait, I don't. Oh want, yeah. I don't want to trade it. I want to upgrade it. We want to upgrade it. How do we upgrade? Upgrades. It says trade. No, you trade stuff to upgrade it. Oh. You trade materials to upgrade it. Well, we probably should have upgraded our armor. Oh, well, not oh, enough. We'll pay for that later. <laughs> See you later, you small little wee fry of a person. Man, that guy's mustache is like... His mustache giant. goes on for it's like, days. It's hanging down like... I bet his mustache weighs like a pound and a half. I mean, that's what I think. I can, just, I, can I steal your dragon? I just want to shave his mustache off and put it on the scale. See how much it weighs. How does one leave this way crazy place? Oh, just like that. It's time for us to go up, up, and away, Patch. All right, so let's go to the Frosty Island. Wait. Press minus to open up the sky map. Okay, fine. It's like they tried right. to make Patch look like Spot. Like I'm guessing puppy. we need to go where the circle is, way up there. Let's do that. I. I and sure and it is. Let us be going. Fly to the Volcase Mountain. Volcas Mountain. Yes, that words. Woohoo! 
Uh, this is your captain speaking. We're uh, cruising at an altitude of not very high whatsoever. Wait, is that it? Brr, it's starting to get cold up here, Pat. We must be getting closer to Volca's Mountain. Although, I bet you don't feel the cold with your ice abilities, do you, buddy? Brr. Brr. Uh, its face is frozen. I have oh. no idea what awaits us at Volca's Mountain, but if it is where that hot purple came from, then it must hold some answers for us. Once we've landed, let's search the area for another set of ruins. Maybe we'll run into that girl again. I'm sure she's the key to everything that happens around here. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing that big ice formation is uh, where we need to go. How high can we fly? Let's see. Alright, we're getting some altitude. Whoa, we Whoa, can fly that's, pretty yeah, high here. that's pretty, pretty high. And that's from the second movie right there. Yeah. Yes! Whoa. And we made it. Yeah. Nice landing. I like how you fly to different islands. That's kind of cool. It is cool. The Mountain of Ice. I love ice levels. It's snowy up here. Yep. All right, so anyway, guys and gals, that is going to do it for this episode. Join us Yay! next time as we explore the icy mountain cool. with our uh, Chimera Dragon thing. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out some of the other cool series we got going on K-Wings Let's Plays. And thanks again to DreamWorks for providing a copy of this uh, game for us to look at. And make sure you guys check Yay! out How to Train Your Dragon 3, the hidden... Oh, blast. And make sure you check out How to Train Your Dragon 3 coming out to theaters this February. God bless and happy gaming. See